Hello and welcome. My name is Chelsea and today I will be presenting an evidence-based plan to improve the outcomes for the Villa Health patient, Caitlin, Capella University, Nursing FlexPath 430, Making Evidence-Based Decisions. Telehealth is one of the latest and more popular ways for healthcare providers to have appointments with their clients. Telehealth helps healthcare providers provide access to patients in rural areas and make it more convenient for those patients as well. In this scenario, two-year-old two -year Caitlin from North Dakota is diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, a chronic condition that requires lifelong treatment. Education for the patient and the parents of the children with cystic fibrosis is extremely important to ensure quality of life. Caitlin's parents both work full-time jobs and are married, but appear to be currently separated. The parents live about an hour away from the hospital, which makes trips receiving health care difficult for them. With Caitlin's parents' situation, being that they are separated and both work long hours, and that she lives in a rural area, she is at risk for ineffective treatment management. Education for both parents is important, but ensuring at least one of them is able to receive the proper teaching for Caitlin is critical. A United Healthcare team needs to come together with a plan for Caitlin and her parents to provide access to telehealth and schedule appointments for in-person appointments when accessible. For this presentation, I will utilize the John Hopkins Nursing Evidence-Based Model, which consists of three components, a practice question, evidence, and translation. This model is better known as PET. The first step is the question. The question I am presenting is, is telehealth the best option for Caitlin's plan of care, being that she lives in a rural area with two working, separated parents? The second step, which is evidence, I gathered information from Womack and other researchers who presented in 2020 their focus on cystic fibrosis patients in Virginia and the use of telehealth during the COVID-19 pandemic. This study was helpful because it was relatable to Caitlin's case. This study was intended to mimic in-person doctor's visits on telehealth for patients and planned appropriate in-person visits during COVID-19. The patients took a survey so researchers could gain feedback on how the patients felt about telehealth and if they received quality care. 100% of the patients enjoyed telehealth and they all felt that telehealth did not take away from their care. This study showed positive patient satisfaction when using telehealth in rural areas during such an unknown and scary time in our society. This study was specific to Caitlin's disease and relates to her living situation while she lives in a rural area. These results help provide assurance that Kaylin would be able to receive the same care as she would if she attended in-person appointments. Another study by Spire and collaborating authors believe that telehealth is just as, effect as effective as in-person doctor's visits and beneficial for families who live in rural areas. In a systematic review, over 40 articles showed that the effectiveness of telehealth by providing access to health care to people who may not have the ability to see their provider in person. For the translation part of the John Hopkins model, we are deciding if telehealth is possible for Caitlin in order for her to receive the best care. Telehealth can help decrease stress for her parents and increase access to her doctors and nurses who are part of her health care plan. To receive care from the access of their own homes, the parents are able to ask questions and receive education on interventions like chest physiotherapy, which is recommended for cystic fibrosis. An interprofessional team will be created for Caitlin, consisting of her pediatrician, a nutritionist, and a respiratory therapist, along with the case managers and nurses to ensure success. Sure, there are some things that require in-person appointments, such as lab work, but the, with the proper team, a schedule will be created for Caitlin and her family to get the proper care needed for those lab works and other in-person appointments. The team will help Caitlin's parents receive education they need by making sure they have great 
Wi-Fi access, a library database to research cystic fibrosis when needed, and any other tools they may need to make this as non-stressful as possible. In conclusion, this plan is created to help Caitlin receive the best care while using telehealth, establishing a team and providing effective communication with her parents will help ensure that they are taking proper care of Caitlin. The team will come together to develop a plan of care that works best for her family to reduce stress and ensure she is receiving the same care she would if it was in person. Thank you for your time and have a great day.